Hey, so we're back with Fallout 4. We're doing a, another quest mod. This one's called Under Passage. And it's supposed to start whenever you first enter the game. But I think the mod author says in his description it's kind of broken and for some reason only starts when you start a new game. And um, if I had unlimited saves like we did on the 360 with Fallout 3 in New Vegas, I would start a new game for this, but you have limited saves on Xbox One. So... Yeah. I also want to ask a question. Um, if you are subscribed to my channel, or thinking of subscribing, tell me which games in the comment section you are subscribed for. Like, are you subscribed for Fallout, Battlefield, Battlefront, um, Call of Duty 3, or, or do you like anything, or the Let's Plays I do, or the random Let's Plays? Or do you just like every game I put up? You, yeah, just type down in the comment section what you're subscribed for. If you are subscribed. Alright, so this is where it starts. It's at the water tower right outside of um, Red Rocket Station. This, what, this is where it is if the uh, quest doesn't initially start. At least I think that's what he said. Alright. Network tunnel. I'm pretty sure the quest won't start, but I'm pretty sure we can still do it. You know? How's it look? Much better without the light on. Don't know if this uh, quest mod has any NPCs. Like talking to NPCs, not just combat. I don't know how long this is, so... Well, they're custom names, so... <laughs> I want to reload, not, you know... That's a dead end. That's actually an end of a dungeon. Steamer trunk. Ah, oh, textures look good. So hopefully I can do this without getting the quest because it is, you know, like you said, kind of broken. He doesn't know how to fix it. Oh, that's Ada. I was like, Ada, what are you doing? Open. 
Lighting in Fallout is really good, especially on a CRT. I mean, like... If you haven't played modern games on a CRT, it's just simply amazing. It's like, I have modern screens, I have... And my, uh, computer screen is a, um... Insignia LED TV. You know, I have a ProScan, um... 32 inch TV, but I put my um, Insignia 2006 HD CRT. It's just so amazing. I got free. Free! From a Best Buy executive who was moving across the country. And he had, he had, had like all these collections of tech. It was real cool. Really nice guy. But yeah, he was giving away this TV because it's a hundred pounds and um, trying to move that from across the country. Yeah. Not too good. Well, it's in a good home. I protect it. You wanna know I play on uh, very hard. Not survival, cause I don't know. I just don't think survival is very fun. I mean, in a multiplayer game, you know, it can be fun. But I don't know, single player survival just uh, just it doesn't do anything for me. Well, neither does really multiplayer survival, because half of those games, or really 99% of them, have nothing to them, and it's just giant Call of Duty matches. Where it's like, hey! And then they immediately just shoot you. That's how the player bases of those games are. Because there's nothing else to do in those games, because there's no factions, there's no quests. You know, there's no reason, there's no bosses. Really, it's like this game. It's like Fallout without quests. Never understood the appeal. It's like, if I was gonna make a survival game, it'd basically be like... First, I would make like a single player game, like Fallout, a single player open world game. Actually, it'd just be Star Wars Galaxies. Star Wars Galaxies was amazing. Star Wars Galaxies, you take the Star Wars Galaxies format of where you can do anything you want. Like, you can be the mayor of a town in Star Wars Galaxies. You didn't have to fight. You could do anything. It wasn't an MMO based on combat, like half the other. Yeah, and that's why I like Star Wars Galaxy so much, because it's like, hey, I don't have to fight. You know, you could do anything you wanted. And I don't think we're going to get another big MMO like that. All MMOs are, you know, go here, kill this. You know, boring stuff. Whereas, you know, you could do that in Star Wars Galaxies, but you could also just be an entertainer in a cantina. Like I said, anything you wanted. It's just, yeah, the, they shut the Star Wars Galaxies down. I know that there's those, like, f fan made servers or whatever. But still, it's, you yeah. know. It's not the same.
I like this mod. He likes Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> uh, Teddy Roosevelt was a great president. Real American. Never gonna have another president like him. Ah, crap. Oh, what did I pick up? Hey. Yes, sir. Hold that. There we go. What's in here? Weapons bench. Ah. Commonwealth. Well, that was pretty short, if that's it. Uh, just over what? Almost 12 minutes? Pretty cool. I'm sad the quest didn't actually start. I don't know if there is actually more, but those holotapes at least, um, gave us some insight into what the mod author wanted. How did we get, what? That seems oddly suspicious out there. Are we done? This seems too weird to be, uh, in the vanilla game. Doghouse? Where is this in the vanilla game? Let's just check. If this is where the mod ends or it still keeps going or... I don't know. I think I have too many. Okay. Appreciate other than then. Interest in it. I think that was it. Um, tell me if that wasn't it. You know, and there's more to this uh, quest mod. Ob obviously, like I said. The uh, quest isn't working itself, but it was kind of a linear passage. So... Yeah. Bye.